All right, so today I'm going to do my first dual deployment and I'm using the Apogee Components Katana Rocket. The whole thing weighs roughly about uh, eight pounds, seven and a half pounds with the motor um, <clears throat> installed. So I'm using some electronics today for my dual deployment. And so right now I'm in the process of I just installed my igniters. I'm going to be putting them here and putting my black powder in for the ejection charges. I'm looking at probably going to roughly around 3,000 feet with the rocket. Um, so that's when the first ejection should occur and the main parachute, which is 48 inches, already tucked away in here, should open up if all goes well at around 700 feet. Uh, the original motor that I was planning on using was this Aerotech um, J450DM. But I was told that because it's rather dry here in Plant City right now, in um, May, that these aren't allowed today. So I had to get a different motor. So I'm going with a Aerotech J250 has a 14 second delay. I'm not gonna plug that. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go in the event that something doesn't go right as a backup so that I end up getting my rocket back. So I'm gonna finish installing this, putting it all together and hopefully getting this thing up in the air. Pad three is armed. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Mark's Katana, it is on a J250 motor. Pad three is armed. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Shoots out. Oh, was it smoky? Did anybody have a dog? No. Yes, well, not today. Two-day shoots, I'll go out and extra again. Yeah. Uh, so, let me get you bond, Ray. Right, 
See it. Looks like it probably drifted at least three quarters of a mile from the launch pad. It also seems that the main parachute ejected at Apogee when it was supposed to eject at around 700 feet. And my thinking is that the main body tube wasn't tight enough where it connected to the eBay. So I'm gonna have to make sure that there's a tighter connection there next time. But all things considered, there it is. The katana didn't make the flight. So happy about that.